I invite you to join us now around the Lenten table as we recall the last words of Jesus' life, the last days of Jesus' life. The story is told by voices from whom we do not usually hear. May we listen and remember.
I was there. I'm from the Garden of Gethsemane, as peaceful a place as there is anywhere. God's presence is truly felt there. Jesus came that fateful night with his disciples. He left some to sit and wait, but he took three with him to pray. He said, I am in deep sorrow, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. Then he threw himself down on the ground right under my branches and cried out, God, please, please, if it's possible, get me out of this. Still, it's not what I want, it's what you want that matters. Then he got up and went back to the three disciples, but they were fast asleep. So, you couldn't stay awake with me just for an hour, he said. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Twice more, Jesus came under my branches and prayed the same prayer. Twice more, he went back to the three and found them asleep. The last time, he said, see, my time is up. The Son of Man is about to be given into the hands of sinners. Get up, it's time, get up, let's go, my betrayer is here.
I saw this scary guy sneaking around after Jesus, and I recognized him. He's one of Jesus' followers. The servant girl said to him, kind of innocent like, You were with Jesus, that man from Galilee. Well, you should have heard him react. I don't know what you're talking about that. Um, he said, then another servant girl, asking the same thing. I don't know, I don't know the man, he said. Some other people were listening, and they all repeated what the servant girls had said. I don't know the man, he yelled again. Then a rooster crowed. You should have seen the look that, that came over the guy's face. He burst into tears and ran away. Precious and essential part of living things. This particular day, I was in a bowl near the governor, Pilate. A whole group of religious leaders came to Pilate, dragging up a beaten man with them. This man, Jesus, looked close to death, but he stood tall, almost like he was going to question Pilate. Instead, finally Pilate asked, Well, are you the king of Jews? Jesus said, You say so. Then the religious leader made more accusations, but Jesus didn't answer them. This time, he remained silent. Pilate was impressed with Jesus in the custom of this Passover time to release a prisoner from the crowd, anyone they wanted. I think he hoped the people would want Jesus. I heard how Pilate's wife whispered to him about a dream she had. This man was innocent, she said, and Pilate should have nothing to do with it. So he said to the crowd, do you want me to release the criminal Barabbas or Jesus, who was called the Messiah? The crowd had all been worked out with the religious leader to go against him. So the crowd yelled, Barabbas, give us Barabbas. And what should I do with Jesus then? Pilate asked, crucify him, they screamed, crucify him, crucify him. Pilate came in, and that's when he came over to me and washed his sweaty hands. He then said slowly for all to hear, I am innocent of this man's blood. From now on, what happens is in your hands. When he released Barabbas and Jesus was with.
I was there. I am Psalm 31. Jesus remembered my words in his most difficult hour as he was nailed to the cross to die. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye wastes away from grief, my soul and body also. For my life is spent with sorrow, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my misery, and my bones waste away. I am the scorn of all my adversaries, and a horror to my neighbors, an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have passed out of mind like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel. For I hear the whispering of many, terror all around, as they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. Thy times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. I was there. I am the earth. I feel the joys and pains of all living things, for we are one. I am part of you, and you are part of me. God is in and around and over and under us. We live and have our being with God. Jesus' joys and pains have been my joys and pains, and I now suffer with him. A great darkness came over me during a great darkness came over me toward the end. I heard his final words. My God, my God, why have you forgot, forgotten me? He cried in his great suffering. Some people nearby thought he was calling out to the prophet Elijah, and they gave him some sour wine in a sponge. But it was over. He cried out a final time and breathed his last. All creation cried at that grievous moment. I shook, rocks split, the temple curtain tore, and earthquakes boomed. Even the cool, sh cool soldiers were shaken to the point of saying, Truly, this was the Son of God.
I was part of a huge storm. On that strangely day, I was standing beside an open tomb that was carved in the rock. I was to cover an entrance way when my master Joseph of Arithmia died, and I was placed and was placed in the tomb. So I was surprised to see Joseph and his helpers come with a dead body. Joseph had wrapped whoever it was in a clean linen cloth. He held the body very gently and placed it inside the tomb. Then he rolled me in front of the tomb and left. For the longest time, two women stood close by the tomb, quietly crying together. They must have loved him very much.
May those who are dying receive the comfort of your peace. Give us all hope that those who hope may greet Jesus when he comes again, and that we might be ready and filled with joy. God of mercy, hear our prayer. God, our creator, you show your sons and daughters the way to freedom. Through the gentle obedience of your Son, Jesus Christ, in whose name we now pray. Join us in our prayer. Tell, tell us here, Earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be. Father and Mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echoes through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on with the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love now and forever. Amen. In keeping with the solemnity of this moment, we will not have a formal offering time, but instead our ushers will greet you at the door, and you may place your offerings and your tithes and your gifts in the offering plate as you leave the sanctuary in silence this morning. Let us stand. Please stand. We have heard and seen and experienced the passion of our Lord. We have followed him and witnessed his death. Now let us hear and see and experience, and most importantly, follow Christ into our own lives. We will follow. Let us go, knowing that death could not contain him. We go, knowing that joy and new life is to come. Amen.